Normally, it's the high school students with spunky hairdos, but that's not the case at College Heights Secondary. English teacher Tammy Douglas offered to dye her brown locks purple and pink if her son Riley and his classmates raised 2,000 cans of non-perishable food items for the local food bank. With more than a month to go and almost all of it raised, it looks like Mrs. Douglas is going to be pretty in pink. Tammy Douglas will be penciling in something else pretty soon, a trip to the salon. My hair will be going a very dark purple and it will have uh, hot pink highlights all the way through the tips. The new dye job is the work of her son Riley. He offered his mom's hair as the reward if his leadership class raised 2,000 cans of food for the food bank. We figured uh, that I should do my own project so I started a local food project and if we get 1,000 cans, my mom's hair goes purple, and if it gets 2,000, it's purple and hot pink. I'm so anxious, nervous, um, yeah, but you know what, it's, a, it's an excellent cause, and it goes to our own community, so I'm behind it 100%. The leadership class at College Heights Secondary does yearly food drives and makes Christmas hampers. While it helps the community, the students also benefit. And obviously we've seen through Riley that this is an opportunity where students can step up, look at a situation, address a need, and according to Riley, follow his passion because he is getting a lot of community support. And his mother is very proud of him and we're very proud of the fact that Riley has taken on a challenge. Riley has Tourette syndrome, which has made his accomplishment that much more extraordinary. To raise that much within two weeks is unbelievable. It, it's, I mean, he has, well, he went to the media, uh, he's gone door to door, he's handed out flyers, he's, I mean, he takes his weekends to do this, and um, yeah, I mean, providing warm, full bellies to families is just an amazing cause. So. He says he's just doing it because it's the right thing to do. I figured it'd be a good cause to go to boards and help out all the food banks around here. The deadline for the food fundraiser is December 5th. With 1,500 cans already raised, a dye job is looking imminent for Mrs. Douglas. If you want to help out, you can drop off food at College Heights Secondary. Kelly Lanahan, CKPG News.